welcome to today's video, everybody. We are talking about the best sellers of NYX, which is a very affordable brand. So hopefully this is good news to you and hopefully you click on this video to just see what kind of products would be best to get at NYX. I know I'm always on the lookout for great products from brands that are affordable. So this is a great video for you if you are also interested in that be sure to like comment and subscribe before you continue to watch the rest of the video don't forget to follow me on instagram at natalie Aaron beauty because i post there a lot i post there monday wednesday friday and saturday and i have content on my instagram stories on monday and wednesday specifically but sometimes throughout the week so be sure to follow me over there and without further ado we're just going to jump right into the best of beauty of nick Alright, so I just finished putting on my Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, and I also did some concealing around some areas, specifically under my eyes, just because the Tinted Moisturizer doesn't have too much coverage, but it does still have a good amount, so it's kind of like that balance of finding a natural looking finish, but not too overwhelming, so I just kind of put on a nice base for this NYX powder foundation that I'm going to try. I have never tried this. This is the NYX Stay Matte, but not fat. Not fat. <laughs> oh, stay matte but not flat powder foundation. And this is in the shade Nude because I am as fair as marshmallow, like I always like to say. And so, um, I haven't really heard people talking about this foundation, but it is listed on NYX's website as one of their best sellers. So I'm excited to try it. And the thing that was really cool is when I went to the NYX store to pick up a couple of these products, this was actually on sale and it was only like $4. So that was great. It was easy for me to just kind of pick this one up um, when I was planning for this video. So let's see. On the back it says um, to apply dry for medium buildable coverage or apply with a wet sponge for heavy duty coverage. So we're going to do both. We're going to do half with a... The dry brush, I think. Yeah, the dry brush or wet on this side with the sponge. So I'm going to go soak a sponge real quick. I'll be right back. Alright, so I got my little black uh, beauty blender. It's a little dirty, but just ignore that. <laughs> um, let's see. I, I'm interested to see how this is going to apply because usually when I use powder foundations, I'll just do like a light layer a foundation like I just did um, with the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer and then I'll just kind of put this on all over. Um, I don't know how much coverage it's going to have so I'm interested to see. It comes in this little compact right here so you open it and it has the powder foundation right there and then under it, a little, under it is a little space for, wow, I, it's flippity flopping. <laughs> under is this little space for this sponge for on the go. So I'm sure that'll be helpful. I think what I'll try and do is apply a little bit of it with the sponge that it comes in. So I'm going to do that and see see how I like it. The texture of it is really nice. It's very smooth. That's how it feels at least. We'll see how much coverage this gives. And if it kind of like settles down the oily, not oiliness in my face, but it's very shiny right now. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm noticing it's taking down the shininess of my foundation, which is good because I like my foundation a little more on the um, matte side, which is good because that's what this product is, stay matte, not flat. Haha, <laughs> look at that. So that's nice. I like it so far. It doesn't feel heavy or weird or anything like that, so that's great. And the shade matches. Just make sure with powder foundations you bring it down your neck just like with any foundation. Sometimes with regular powders, if you forget, it's not that big of a deal, but sometimes with things that are more full coverage, if you don't bring it all the way down, you get that awkward line, which is not cute. So, all right, so this is the side that doesn't have it on. This is the side that does. I feel like I'm really liking this side actually a lot because this is more of like a matte finish, which I like. And this is very glowy still, which is what the Laura Mercier um, Tinted Moisturizer is supposed to do. And it's what it's known for is to give some of that like glowiness and youthfulness. But I 
really like this side and how it's applying. So now I'm going to use the damp sponge and just kind of take it, the bottom of the sponge, and just press that in and see how it applies to this side. Okay. Yes. I would agree that this definitely is more full coverage. I can tell because it's starting to get a little too powdery, like more than I would want. So I'm going to go back in with this, uh, the sponge that it comes with usually. I don't use these, but for this purpose, I'm liking this sponge better. I think if you were just to use the foundation like alone by itself, then you could use this sponge and it'd probably give you like the perfect amount of coverage, but I just wanted a good base underneath just because sometimes powder foundations don't have enough coverage and I'm just like, I want like a nice covered <laughs> face. So I was just trying to play it safe, but it looks like you don't even need anything under the this powder foundation because it has a good amount of coverage. So this is probably a great one to carry with you and to travel with because of the coverage that it gives and because it has this little sponge in there with it. Alright, so overall I would say pretty impressed. It's going like a smidge orange on this side that I use the beauty sponge with. So again another reason why I like <laughs> the sponge that it comes with just because it seems to not be as harsh on this side than it is on this side. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I like this side better. <laughs> Alright all, I just added a little bit of this um, Wet n Wild Brulee Single Eyeshadow just all over my eyes just to give a nice little base for what we're going to be using next. Um, I am using this Tarte Amazonian Clay palette. I think this is the second one. Yep, volume two. I'm just going to take a little bit of this transition shade right here and just kind of put it all over my eyelids just for a little bit of a base because we're going to be using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils, which can be a little more exciting and extravagant, but when you don't have anything else on your eyes, it can be a little overwhelming. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on just so things aren't so loud and crazy. Alright, so I'm going to be using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in 609 French Fries. I love that name. That is so cute. Um, I have used this so much. I've had um, multiples of these and I've used them ever since I was in high school. So I've been using these Jumbo Eye Pencils for about four years now, which is a very long time so I do love them. I'm just taking this uh, NYX pencil sharpener and sharpening them. You cannot sharpen this thing without like a bigger pencil sharpener so um, be sure to get like probably the next one would just be the best one to get because they're made to sharpen the jumbo eye pencils because I went a little while <laughs> without having um, an eye sharpener for the jumbo eye pencils and I couldn't really use it at all because it had gotten so like worn down so that's something you need to keep in mind um with using this now these are super pigmented and i love this shade this is probably my favorite shade out of all of the ones they have they're a little more on the crazier side like i mentioned i would recommend using like a dome shaped brush and then kind of like blending it out or if you just want it like super powerful and punchy then you can go directly onto your eyes but just be warned gets a little crazy so you really want to make sure you're blending things out nicely. For today I'm just going to use it under my lower lash line to define it a little bit because I have a liner by NYX that I'm really interested in trying because I've heard so many good things about it. So I think actually what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do it like on under the lower lash line and the upper lash line and it's going to give a nice little smoky effect. So I'm just going to take a little bit on that brush and just work this in. I would recommend using, like I said, like a dome shaped brush and just putting it on the brush and then blending, blending it out because then you have a little bit more control and these pencils can get really out of hand really quickly. <laughs> so that's something to keep in mind. 
Um, these I would not say are waterproof because I've put these on my lower lash line before and it just kind of collected a little bit. So I would recommend more using this on like your lid part and like below the inner water line or below the lower water line <laughs> um, to kind of smudge things out more so than to count on as a liner to put in there. Because these sharpen to such a fine tip, you can really go in there and get some detail. So I'm going to do that just on the inner corners and just kind of in between my lashes a little bit. It's not going to be as precise as like a super thin liquid liner, even pencil gel eyeliner, so be aware of that. But um, it is really good for adding like extra smokiness and defining your eyes even more. Alright, so I wasn't going to film me doing my mascara and stuff, but I thought this was a good thing to point out. Sometimes when you curl your lashes after you do your liquid eyeliner, it won't stay and it'll kind of peel off a little bit depending on the brand. So I just did like one little curl and I'm trying to be careful and not like completely butcher the eyeliner. And I feel like overall it's done a pretty good job of staying where it's supposed to and it had enough time to dry but I feel like I've tried eyeliners before that haven't moved at all <laughs> so I like those better and they were felt tips so I don't know I don't think it's horrible by any means but it's definitely not the best staying power that I've tried which makes me wonder how long it's going to last throughout the day, so I'm just going to retouch it up and maybe you're like, Natalie, you're not supposed to curl your eyelashes after you've done your liquid eyeliner, duh. But that's just, that's just how I do it. So, interesting to see. Like I said, it's not horrible, it's just not the best that I've tried at this moment in time. Okay, so I just put a little bit of my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise onto my eyelashes. Nothing too crazy. I only did like one little coat just because I'm not going anywhere for the rest of the day, so I don't need too much. We're going to move right along to lips. Now, NYX has some of my very favorite lip products, and that, my friends, is the NYX Lip Lingerie line, which sounds very scandalous, but let me tell you, I love nude shades which sounds also scandalous, <laughs> but they have the best shades for my skin tone and my hair. Like, look at these beautiful, lovely shades. I'm going to swatch them all for you. They are so nice. Now, if you have lips that tend to dry out really quickly or get really crackly and you don't moisturize your lips before you put these on, you probably aren't going to like these because they are very, very, very drying. However, they stay on your lips all day long. They are amazing. Their wear time, in my opinion, is fabulous. So it's kind of like a trade-off. Do you want dry lips plus lipstick that stays on? Or do you just not want to use it at all because you're scared? It depends on your personal preference. For me, it's worth the risk. And I usually use a very moisturizing lip balm every day anyway, especially before I go to bed and I exfoliate my lips. So for me, it's worth it to have a really nice long wear lip product. So I am going to be choosing 08 today. That's what I'm going to use because this is actually my favorite shade from that line. But first, um, I also want to point out this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. Whoa, it's flying away. This is number four London. This is also a bestseller. Um, and I do enjoy this. So I'm going to just put this on for you real quick. This shade is a little like nude for me, but <laughs> it's like too brown nude, if that makes sense. I like more rosy nudes, but this shade is still probably suitable for some people. Just I wanted to show you this because it's easier to take off. And then I'll put the liquid lipstick on and then we're going to try one more thing after that. Okay, so here's the shade on. On the camera, I feel like it's showing off more orangey and like pinky even but it's really not in person it's like actually 
a very brownish nude. So I don't know if you can really tell the difference, but I'm just letting you know. This is it. So it's not terribly far off. It's just not completely telling the truth. I almost feel like my lips go like a smidge numb when I wear this. And I don't know why. It just kind of how it makes my lips feel and it's kind of strange so I don't know if they're like allergic to something in this so it might just be me don't let that scare you away I'm just letting you know this is my personal experience and I haven't even found a shade yet in this line that works for me I prefer the liquid lipstick um, ones that I'm gonna put on in just a second so this is just kind of like a personal preference kind of thing for me I think it's comfortable but then it reacts funky with my lips and I don't really like the color-ish. That's kind of how I feel about this one. So it's up to you. I would still recommend trying it just because it is a affordable lip item, but if you don't want to try it, that's okay. I would probably recommend the liquid lipsticks anyway. And I'm gonna go in with the NYX Lip Lingerie in 08. Like I said, one of my absolute favorites of all time. suiting to my skin tone and my preferences because of the formula and because of the color it's more rosy toned nude shade which I like so 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 much better so this is kind of what it looks like this is the finish of it I am going to top it off with this NYX butter gloss which is also a very famous bestseller from NYX their lip glosses are supposed to be great and I've never tried them before so I'm excited to give this one a go let me see what shade Oops. It's falling. See, I haven't even unwrapped it yet. There it goes. This is in the shade Praline, and I've heard lots and lots of things about this one. So look at that. Brand new, right out of the tube. And I'm just going to put this one right on top over the liquid lipstick that I have. Oh my gosh. This is my shade. I love this so much. Wow, guys. Wow, I think this has been the most favorite from today's video. I'm not even joking. Like, the texture of the gloss, it's not like sticky or uncomfortable. Oh my goodness. And the shade. I love the shade. It is amazing. It's perfect for fall, guys. If you're in need for a lip gloss for fall, this one, it's in the shade Praline again. The NYX Butter Gloss, so good. I want more. Like, it's so beautiful. Oh, I love it. I'm so excited. It was sitting in my little drawer thing that I have for new videos for such a long time. And I was looking at it and I was like, I bet I'm going to love that. Just because of, like, the way the packaging is. I was like, that looks like a color that I would like. And I was right. Guys, this, this stuff is great. You need to try this for sure. Like, I already know... I'm going to get a ton of use out of this. I love that it's pigmented, but not overly pigmented. You feel like you're just, like, like glopping everywhere. And there isn't any of, like, the stringiness happening with this gloss. It is just a super nice formula. So it totally makes sense why this is a bestseller. I love this. Alright, guys. So overall, I'm absolutely loving the way this look turned out. I think that this foundation is really really great this powder foundation again it's a stay matte but not flat <laughs> powder foundation by NYX I think it's really really beautiful if you are looking for a super quick and easy to go kind of a foundation this would probably suit you really well it makes sense why this is a bestseller it's not turning like a weird shade on me it matches me really nicely they had a good amount of shades when I was looking through so if you are in need of something like this this would be a good affordable option. Next is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. Again, love this stuff. The shade is so beautiful, so nice. I think it's super versatile. You can um, just put like a nice little easy smoke out on your eye. Or you can do like a super intense thing if you want to build it up all over the lid. Smoke it out, make it a nice beautiful smoky eye for the fall maybe. So this would be a great one for sure. If you're in the need for something quick and easy too, I feel like... Both of these, the foundation and the little jumbo eye pencil, are really versatile for those people who need more of a quick 
um, kind of get ready situation. So these two would be a great affordable option. All right, next we have the NYX Epic Ink Eyeliner. Now, I will say I liked the way this looked. However, I think I've liked other liquid liners way better just because of the application. I think that the felt tips for me personally are easier to use than the brush tips, so that's just more of a personal preference. I think the shade is nice. I don't think it went on terribly like difficult. It's just I like other ones better. So that's just, it's not like a pass. I'll probably use it again, use it up, and then I don't think I'll repurchase it. But it was nice to have if you need an affordable brown eyeliner. Don't have to go on and on about these, but just really quick, love these so much. Um, I would say to get these little liquid lipsticks over this matte cream, and that's just my personal opinion. And then, of course, this NYX Butter Gloss, you saw my reaction. I love it, I still love it. I think it's beautiful, I think the shade is super, super nice, especially for my skin tone and what I tend to like when I'm wearing on my lips. This is a great shade for fall. If you are in the need of one, highly, highly recommend. All right, all, so that is it for the best of beauty for NYX products. Let me know what brand you would like to see next if you want it to be a more high-end brand or if you want me to continue doing drugstore brands. This was one of the first videos I had on my YouTube channel, so I wanna keep this going throughout the next couple of months and hopefully get through like the majority of brands out there that have the best sellers to test them out and give you my opinion on them, whether or not I think they should be best sellers or they can just scoot down the line and make way for other products. Um, but be sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you leave and hit that notification bell so you don't miss my next video. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.